In this video, I'm going to show you how to import 3JS as a module. This is a very simple example of 3JS. It imports 3JS, it imports the orbit control so I can interact with the mesh, and it also imports the stats module up here so we can get some useful information about our project. Now this example uses the older style of using 3JS. I'm just importing three min in the script tag, the orbit controls in the script tag, and the stats min in the script tag as well. And I also have a client script, which just describes my scene, camera, renderer, controls, geometry, material, cube, stats as an animate function. There's nothing special in there. It's quite straightforward 3JS code. Okay, so that's all very good, that works. But if you look at the console, to get this warning now in 3JS, as part of the Transition DS6 modules, the files and examples JS were deprecated in May 2020 and will be deleted in December 2020. So you're gonna to need to update your projects to use the ES6 modules version of 3JS. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. And I'm gonna rebuild this project from the ground up so that you can see what I'm doing. But it's the same project, just the ES6 module version of it. So I'm going to open a command prompt. I'm going to go to a new folder. And I'm going to make a new directory called my project. CD my project. I'm going to open Visual Studio Code by typing code dot enter. Okay, so I've got a new project now. First thing I'm going to do is open the integrated terminal and type npm init. And just press enter to accept all the defaults. It's very good. I'm now going to install three. This will give me the latest version of 3JS. It's very good. So that's just created a new folder called node modules, build examples source. So in build, I've got three, three min, three module. I'll be using three module.js instead of three min.js as I was using in this example. Now let's create a very simple Node.js Express server. So I create a new file in the root here called app.js. Okay, in that, paste this code. I'll give you a link to all this code at the end of the video. It's a very simple Express server, App Express, and it creates three static paths. One to a folder called public, which I haven't created yet. I'll do that right now. Create a new folder called public. This is where my public HTML will sit. It creates a static route to the build path in node modules three build. There we go. So I can download three module JS through this express server. And also a static path to the JSM folder, three examples JSM, where I will download controls, orbit controls JS, and also JSM libs stats module JS. Control S, that's the very simple Node.js server which uses Express. All right. Let's close that. In public, create two more files. One called client.js and another called index.html. In index.html, copy this very basic HTML script. What it's going to do is going to load client.js, which is that file there, but type equals module. Let's compare that with the old code, script source client.js. I'm not describing the type in this older version, but in the newer version I am. Type equals module. Save that. Now in client.js, put that script. Now it is almost essentially the same as this client script here, except there are no import statements in the older version, whereas in the newer version there are. These are ES6 import statements pointing to build three module JS, JSM controls, orbit controls JS, and JSM lib stats module JS. And also, another detail in the older version of 3JS, you would declare your orbit controls as new three orbit controls. When you import as a module, you just say new orbit controls. That's very good. So just quickly, the index. I have one import in the HTML there, type equals module. In client.js, that's where my imports are now. And my web server will return these files because I have created static routes to them, build and JSM. And that's the public folder there, public client in 
index. Okay, we can now test this in the browser. So, but first we'll create a start script, package JSON. Just here in scripts, right? Start colon node app.js, comma, save that. That points to that file there, app.js, right? And also before I start this, since I'm using Express, I'm gonna to need to type npm install express, okay? And now I can type npm start. There we go. Okay, and I can refresh the browser, F5, there we go. And what we're seeing now is the new ES6 module version of the same 3JS project. There we go, in the code, I've got the import statements in the HTML. There's only just that script tag now with type equals module. There we go, and this is the folder structure. Stats module, orbit controls, three module JS. And look, no more console errors. Very good. Now this code that I just wrote here can be downloaded from GitHub. And also read the description under the video for links to more information. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share.